Good morning. We are at live at San Diego Comic Con with uh, Transformers design manager John Warden, and we are taking a look at the most unbelievable Unicron Haslab Unicron display. It is uh, it is a thing of beauty. Uh, absolutely amazing. So uh, I don't even know where to start with questions. So many of them. Uh, this has been a project, obviously, you've been working on for a while. We have, uh, yeah, a lot, of go a lot goes into something this big. Tell you know. us what tell us what uh, some of the thoughts were and uh, some maybe the design decisions that you made. Um, how take us through the development? Well, really, this because it's so physically big. Um, this is one of those things we could only do through our crowdfunding platform, Haslab. Um, it's not only the biggest transformer ever made. This is a 47 inches tall robot, 30 inches to the outside of the ring. Um, it's almost 20 pounds, it's 19 pounds, so, so it's, it's extremely heavy. Um, but it's also, from a, from a complexity standpoint, it's about 50 steps, but the fact that it's a perfect sphere makes, uh, makes we, we had to do a lot of thinking. So Kuni Hero and I were working on like, how do you make a perfect sphere convert into a planet, which has you know a very intricate lattice of, of steps that kind of allow you to make the perfect ball. So you can imagine, just from a sheer geometry standpoint, being able to change a sphere into anything that's not a sphere without it looking you know like cosmos with the legs it's a real challenge so a lot of the steps in here took a while to figure out not only um is it sort of complex from a geometric standpoint but it's also super heavy so you're gonna have to have a lot of um a lot of big uh, joints, a lot of a lot of steps that are you know a lot of a lot of pieces linking together. They're, they're overbuilt, very strong, because um, it has to also be self-supporting. You can see the the base here supporting the planet. A lot of engineering and thought went into the base. Um, you can use the base in robot mode, but um, but the toy when it's in when it's in robot mode is completely self-supporting. So you can pose them out and all. So when I was in the photo shoot, you guys saw the, the images on, on uh, Pulse.com. Those are all self-supported images. So he's got rocker ankles and his feet kind of uh, are designed in such a way that they're gonna be able to support his weight. But um, like a lot of other collectible robot brands, you can attach the base to him so you can do like lots of other cool poses. Um, let's, let's talk about the planet a couple. I have a bunch of questions about sure, that. Sure, sure, yeah, so, go ahead. I'm still rambling on. No, no, that's all right. Uh, so uh, the paint deco, let's talk a little bit about that. Is yeah, what we it. see here uh, finish essentially what we're going to get? I mean, there's a lot of like intricate, everything from the silvers to the light blues kind of scattered throughout. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely. This is, uh, we tried to there's make it no as close to a representation of uh, what the consumers would get as possible. So there's not going to be an eight hundred dollar uh, deluxe paint deco a, a month, a year later or anything. This no, is, no, this is this is it. And yeah. a lot, of, a lot of people are asking, like, well, I'm going to wait until it gets funded, and then it's going to go to brick and mortar. It, it's, this is it. This is like one. This is our one shot to do it. This, That's not happening. You're not, I mean, I don't only, know. Brick and mortar couldn't. Thing. There's no, no shelf there's no space for it. It's a gigantic sphere. Yeah. So the the only way to get this thing will be through our HasLab uh, program on the Pulse. And we've heard that the Takara will have uh, uh, be selling them in Japan. Is that version exactly the same? Yes. Totally identical. Completely identical. It, okay. It'll. Um, they're just they're partnering with this effort. Yep. Which is exciting. You know, I think fans know with World of Cybertron, we have a global effort now. Uh, great partnership with Takara Tomy. Um, so the, this would be an identical item to the, to the Takara Tomy item, um, but it, it won't happen without without backers. So, well, well so we're going to be. Believe, I mean, obviously, this is a, a, a dream come true for us, and we'll do everything we can to help spread the word. The good, um, the good news is, though, like we we already have enormous support right now. So it's you know the momentum on this thing is growing. People see it and they are they're excited. And we've already since Comic Con already gotten a bunch of backers. And it's it's really exciting to see this thing take off. So like it's just exciting to see people excited by it, like me, and they want to be part of it. You know. So let's. Uh, a couple of questions. We've been getting lots and lots of them on our site. So uh, one of them is uh, about the construction of the spikes. Now, are those a little flexible or just straight up ABS? Worried about like might they break or they have some some play in them? No, no. It's it's um those will be uh, a type of resin that's going to have a little bit of um, flexibility to it uh, because of the fact that they're so thin and pointy. Uh, we had to mold them from uh, semi-rigid material, so it's not ABS. Uh, 
Um, their motive maybe yes, they, they could break off and, and create like a sharp points hazard. So we did have to use a flexible material to pass our QA standards. But it's we're trying to make it as rigid as possible so that they hold shape. Yep. What about okay? So the panel, the, the the spherical panel panel, sorry, uh, components. Do they all? Uh, could could you potentially take them like one off at a time, or are they all interlock? They stay like when you're transforming it. Does it all stay together as it folds and collapses into his back and behind his legs? No, it's it's all integral. Um, it's uh, the only thing that comes off is the ring. You have to you have to disconnect the ring. But all of the the, the outside surfaces of the planet, like the, the continents or tectonic plates, if you will. Those all stay integrated with through a, through a really intricate system of folds. Um, so as you do it, and that's part of the reason why we, when you convert it, you kind of need the base to kind of hold it, or a friend. You can, you know, <laughs> or if you're just really jacked, you can like kind of do it. Um, but but no, it all stays together. It's it's a it's not a parts form. The thing stays together. Have you transformed it? I have. And how long did it take you? It took me a very long time. But well, mostly because <laughs> of the fact that I was doing it with the model. I was just being, I was really nervous. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, it took me like about an hour. But um, Kuni <laughs> Hirosan said it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Well, 15 minutes but, to transform if you, you know, know what you're you, doing. When you see it, it's it's almost like a beautiful dance, the way it, does, the way, the way it converts. Yeah. The back of it actually converts like a movie. It like does... Oh, let's let's go look at the back yeah, of it. Yeah, We're, we'll awesome. change our angles here. Yeah. It, so the, do the arms come out of this? You said like yeah, the movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. that's that's the arms. Awesome. And he actually he actually wanted. It was like one of his missions was to make sure that it did that. Uh, yeah, that's really such cool. a beautiful sequence, obviously in the in the original movie when it when his arms kind of come out and unfold. That's absolutely epic. Um, Oh, the, the other thing I wanted to point out, since since uh, I have I have you here to yeah yeah, let's you. let's talk about the robot mode. Yeah, so as you come around this side, um, a lot of people are asking about his teeth because they're saying, well, in, in oh the, yeah yeah, in the movie he doesn't have teeth most of the time when Orson Welles is voicing in, mouth is closed. The teeth um, are at, they actually are are posable um, in a separate axis than the mouth, so you can move the teeth out of the way, you can move the mouth up. So if you want teeth. You can you can have them exposed, or you can close his mouth completely. You see no teeth. You can move the lower jaw teeth out of the way, and uh, and uh, so you can have it with or without the teeth look. Yeah, that's true. Um, so I might crack the case open today and try to like close his mouth a little bit. But I think if you saw the prototype model last night, you could see his mouth closed. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, you you mentioned that. Um, oh, so there, might there be other features of this thing that have not yet been uh, quite leaked out? Well, I mean, there's or, the, this thing's it's mostly done, uh, but there's definitely some some room for uh, room for pieces to work out. So um, we definitely have more news to come on this on this gigantic guy. Um, so if you're curious about this project, stay tuned in. The there's going to be lots more content coming and lots lots of other cool kind of surprises along the way. Uh, uh, can I ask a few specific questions? Electronics? No, no electronics. No electronics. We decided to instead um, try to to keep the price uh, the price where it was. We wanted to really keep the articulation. Um, yep. Wait, in the detail. Yep. Um, we wanted to make sure this thing was, was like a masterpiece grade Unicron. Uh, and, it, and it sure looks like it. I have this theory that the reason why we think, I saw photos of it at first before seeing it live, it seemed much smaller. Then, then seeing it live is way, way bigger, and it's because these, these, uh, the rings around the planet. I'm used to the Armada toy, where it was quite a bit smaller. I mean, these are like about what, about an inch diameter, way, yeah. way bigger well, they're, they're, than what I'm used to seeing for, in terms of that. So, <laughs> yeah, I think fans uh, expected it to be more like that Armada size, but really, the planet is almost the size of kind of like a beach ball. You know, it's it's, it's not even basketball size. It's it's, it's nice and big. So this yeah, thing really is big in every way. Seeing uh, so. it live, like I said, is way bigger than I even could imagine. The pictures don't really do it quite oh, justice. When do you hold it? I know, yeah, right. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a child. Get a bicep workout in. Uh, can I, all right, uh, last detachable head, maybe? Well, it's one of those things as we were engineering it, we're still trying to figure that part out, but um, we've been hearing it from a lot of people. I mean, uh, Clint Dill even said it yesterday. He's like, oh, can you make the head removed? So it's one of those things that I think it's, I guess, technically possible, but uh, just stay tuned to the, to the false wolf. Stay I, tuned. I don't, I don't know. I, I, right now, no. Okay. <laughs>
the, the way those knuckles look, oh my gosh. Well, I want to just say thank you, a real huge thank you for um, just making this possible. This has been an absolute dream for us, of course, and never, never imagined. You, with Unicron.com, I mean, I, I never imagined that there'd be a day that I'd be standing here looking at something so magnificent. And just thank you for, thank you for all the efforts. I, we really appreciate it. You're very welcome. Thanks, guys. Thanks, John.